Chatham Bay Union Island, leaving paradise this morning, sailing to Beckwe. The little resort here, if anybody wants to look it up. When we put on the mainsail after our vacation to Vancouver, I didn't rig this part of the head sail properly, of the mainsail. So our square top main, this is a patented system from Incident Sails, who makes our sails. As the sail goes up, this line gets pulled, pulls the square top to the mast and tight. Where does that attach to? Mast car. All right. And it was just hanging before? The mast car? No, the line that you're doing. Yes. Where was that line? It's just sitting here like that. Oh. It didn't look right yesterday, uh, the other day when we were sailing, so I decided to have another look at things. Setting sail for Beckwe with a double reef. We're in some pretty heavy seas that all our dishes broke, fell out and broke. Even the melamine ones. Really rocky sail yesterday. Uh, it was really rocky. It was about four hours and we went almost 30 miles. So it wasn't too bad. We had double reef main and a double reef Genoa. Well, let's be honest, one and a half reef Genoa. We made it here in one piece, no problem. I'm happy. Nope. And we're in a nice spot right now. Where are we? We're in Maria's Cafe in beautiful Elizabethtown, Beckwe. Let's show you what our view is right here. One rolly sail later, we finally arrive in Beckwe. Today we're going to go to the Turtle Sanctuary. This fellow here raises turtles so they have a better chance in the open ocean when they finally get released because the baby turtles have a high mortality rate until they get a little bit bigger. So this guy grows them bigger. See you there. We're still walking to the turtle sanctuary. After a nearly four kilometer walk, we arrive in Beckley's turtle sanctuary. This turtle cannot be released into the wild because he has an air pocket making him not able to dive. Okay, we have a scrub turtle and a non-scrub turtle. They this clean, guy's yeah, they clean the algae. Good. He's a little bit. bit. It's not a scrub turtle. It's more respect. Taking some of the algae off of them. There were two days scrubbing in the Nile Green Mark, even this one. Too. Yeah, he's got a little green. Two days. Like yeah. yeah. I scrub it two days tomorrow when I get blue. Those vertebrae, whale vertebrae, made out of our stools. Look what I found! Yay, 
Canada. How old your mom, Andrew? My mom is 98 years old. She's been donating to this mission that we're going to attempt to see tomorrow since I was born. So 60 years ago. For 60 years she's been donating to it. Father Robert's mission in Georgetown, St. Vincent. Now I think we can do her the honor of sailing the 10 miles over there and making the trek to the mission, taking some video. So this would probably be some of the first pictures my mom will ever see of this place. Kind of, kind of a neat thing to do. Yeah. We see a spotted eagle ray on our one last snorkel and beckwe and some colorful fish. This is our anchorage in St. Vincent. We're just going to be here for the night. We take one of the local buses to Georgetown. believe it's this church here they were told us it wasn't the right place but they showed us where to go it smells like a brewery here somewhere on the road up to the mission okay so that was the wrong church he's saying it's just up the street here about five minute walk the pastor from the last church drove us up here about a year and a half ago they moved into here the new section very, my mother is very smart. She's finished school at 16 years old, but she couldn't get a job because there was no jobs. So she went and worked for Father Roberts. We're just at the new mission, and we're going to go see the one that Father Roberts built. It's just down the road from us here. And here we have a rum factory on our way to the mission. As we're walking down the street. Here it is, Nina. The original closed down about a year and a half ago. The original mission that you have been donating to for 60 years. This used to be the hospital for the whole town. This is where Father Roberts started the, his mission. This building here is where Father Roberts lived and the, and the sisters or the nuns that helped out. We're going into the school section. You mean in Father Roberts time? Yes. I think around 60 to 100. This is the poor shop. I don't really remember the figures that much. 60 to 100 children. And what we had here as a day nursery. We had it here as a day nursery. We had a nursery. Like a school days. Yeah. They take care of children and then they, their parents come to collect them and take them home. Make sure you get a picture of them. Father oh, Roberts. There's children. Adults is in here. Washrooms. And this is the yard of the mission. Thank you for watching this episode of Sailing Wave Riders. Dedicated to... Nina Hansen, my mother. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Share. It's a good one. Join us next time for a return adventure to Grenada. Thanks for watching. Bye.